Welcome to Dave's Diaries in France. Enjoy the video. Good. I was going to say morning then, but it's not. It's uh, 16.05 on a Wednesday. Um, uh, what's the date? September the 18th, I think it says on there. September the 18th. So, um, I'm at the Dura Upper today. Um, no DIY yet because the finger is not quite there, as in uh, skin wise. I mean, uh, I don't know whether you can see that. It's nearly healed. Very nearly healed. Okay, it's a mess, but it's, um, it's nearly there. Um, I'm struggling with the feeling in it. Oh, I can't feel it, so. And it's very, it's sensitive around the scar points um, where the stitches were. Um, so I've got to massage it. So yeah, I'm down here. I've just done the lawns. Uh, I did the lawns at home yesterday. I'm just, uh, you know, a, a, a man trying to get back to work uh, and it's difficult. Um, I've been reading various things about work in the UK and uh, people over 50, for some reason, can't get work. I, I really don't understand that uh, because people over 50, okay, they may not be that physically their best, but they're in the prime regarding the, their uh, experience in their fields. I mean, I'm 58, 58, yes. And uh, even I struggled before I left the UK getting getting um, a job um, in the IT field, uh, which after 30 years experience, you would think it would be a breeze. But um, I know that when you're that age, you do command quite a sal salary, and uh, but you're you're paying that salary to this over 50 person. Um, for their experience and their knowledge to pass it on to the younger generations coming up. So I don't know what employers are playing at, um, whether it's being ageism or, or whatever, wherever it may be. Um, even women over 50, I'm not, okay, I'm not genderizing the, the thing, but women over 50 are, are also perfect for employment. And they're not going to have any more children um they've got a wealth of experience why aren't you employing them in the uk um so this explains why you look on the job board say linkedin as they say over in france linkedin um you look on the job boards and they're crying out for people um i mean yeah i'll, I'll work remotely for a uk company of course i would but the the problem arises, they must have an office based in France. If they have not got an office based in France, they can't tax me correctly. Um, so um, you hear of these digital nomads um, working all around the world, um, literally all around the world. Uh, and they can spend six months in the Bahamas or six months in Mexico and uh, or travel the world and they're still working. Um, but obviously they're based, the key word is based, in the UK. So And they get paid into a UK bank account. I mean, I've still, still got a UK bank account, um, but... Um, it's it's frowned upon if you're paid in in pounds in your English bank account and not taxed in France. Um, I don't know the ins and outs, so don't quote me. Um, it's still I'm still researching the fact. But um, yeah, any global companies should be able to hire people that have emigrated from the UK into Europe if they've got an office based in that specific country. Uh, that's what I do know. Um, any remote work in the EMEA region uh, 
has to be you have to be taxed in your your um, residing country, to my knowledge. I'm going on a bit here. It's just because I've been looking lately, because I've been laid up with, with this finger, I've actually been looking for uh, remote work to do in the IT field. So, um, yeah, I, I, pff, remains to be seen. I've not seen anything yet. I've seen plenty of remote jobs in the UK, but um, again, they've got to have an office in France. Um, but, uh, yeah. And also... Um, I'm going on a bit here, but um, what's going on with the UK government? We've just, we, the UK has just got rid of a, uh, uh, the most corrupt government in history. Uh, it seems to be following on with this government, with their um, uh, cash for honours um, problems. And the, uh, there's no such as a free lunch, as they say. So... What is it? Starmer's wife has been handed £15,000 worth of, or f whatever it may be, £5,000 worth of clothes from a, a lord who's got a pass to number 10. Hmm, yes. I think the UK, current UK government, have to be very, very careful because they'll be out and then you'll get uh, people voting for. God knows what's next. <laughs> but uh, I'm so glad I'm not there. Because I just watch it and I'm angry from the sidelines. But, um, you know, it, it's just... It's, it's just crazy. Uh, corrupt Corruption is everywhere. But uh, anyway, uh, it's, a, it's a short video. Um, but... Um, I'm just waffling. I like waffling. I like talking to the camera. So I've got nothing else to say. Oh, apart from we've had a feedback feedback uh, from Una's new um, Una the Labrador. We have had feedback from um, her new parents. And at the weekend, um, they took Una, uh, the couple, just the couple, uh, the mum and dad, so, so to speak, uh, took Una in their motorhome uh, for a weekend break. And... Uh, she was perfect, absolutely perfect in every way. So we've been told, uh, which is wonderful. Um, it sounds like she's she's found a home and uh, I'm so happy um, and sad that I can't see her again. But um, anyway, I've always got the pictures and the videos to look at, haven't I? So, um, yeah, from uh, a repairing Dave... In France, signing off. Until the next one. Catch you later. Ta-ta for now.